most closely guarded secret. We really had no clue how the money was spent. Now its financial dealings have been dragged into the spotlight. If there is a secretive culture, that does lend itself to abuses. For the first time, detailed allegations of financial impropriety by the megachurch have been made public, thanks to a lawsuit brought in the federal court by the church's own bookkeeper. There are concerns that Australian taxpayers are being ripped off uh, by Hillsong. Lawyer George Bornstein is representing Hillsong employee turned whistleblower Natalie Moses. There is money flying around in all sorts of directions here. This is money that Hillsong allegedly acquired through tithings and donations, much of it tax-free. It makes me feel upset, furious really, that goes against every value that I have as a Christian. ABC Investigations can reveal the charity regulator launched an investigation in March at the same time that Natalie Moses was auditing its finances. She claims she discovered a range of financial schemes which were in potential breach of Australian law. Large cash gifts given to members of the church, including its founder Brian Houston, as well as the remittance of large sums of money overseas to avoid scrutiny by local regulators. She also claims she was asked to cover it up. I don't believe we would ever know what transpired behind closed doors at Hillsong Church. Um, without the knowledge that this whistleblower has provided. Yolandi Bosch is one of a handful of individuals who has blown the whistle about Hillsong. They black you out. You become a, a villain to them. Hillsong's lawyers told the ABC it would defend the claim and that it could not otherwise comment. Hagar Cohen, ABC News, Sydney.